Uh, today I brought you in the kitchen and a lot of you that are on the seven day slim down have asked me a lot of questions and um, you know they're on the seven day slim down they said Nancy oh my god this is so strict and I said yes I know it's strict again the seven day slim down is really about just resetting your body if you're starting a nutrition program it's going to reset it's going to cleanse it out or if you're at the final stages then uh, from there you'll be able to uh, lean out in the final stages of that um, I only have it on for I think about a week more but here it is I'm gonna start answering your questions so here it is for those of you again it's a free download seven day emergency slim down um, like I said you're not going to lose true fat but you will get rid of the water retention you'll get rid of the bloating um, so I do have some of your questions here to answer because so many of you have been asking um, thank you thank Pat see you soon um, so um, I had Sarah ask me I'm gonna read the question here because I had to put all the questions together uh, I've been trying to juice but I never feel like I'm doing it right I know we never feel like we're doing it right what type of machine do you use a blender or a juicer and how do you filter all the excess foam and fiber and skin from the veggies uh, very good question because I remember too when I started um, I always felt like I was doing it wrong and I'm going to do a separate YouTube video that I'll upload on my YouTube channel so that you guys see exactly how I'm going to do it but I will show because there was a couple of questions of what I do use so I do I'm gonna have to move this back like again if the phone falls you guys can't laugh at me with this iPhone 7 all right so um, I don't know if you can see this so I actually have a big Vitamix blender there we go so I have a Vitamix blender and if you can see in the top of my screen here I actually have a juicer up there so I kind of just it depends on what I'm feeling like if I do want a little bit of the excess in there and some of the, I want it to be more smoothie like, I will use my Vitamix blender. So I would fill it up, um, blend all the ingredients together. Like I said, I will do a video on this. Um, and a lot of the questions are how do you remove everything? So very good question. Um, I use nut bags or, or what they call milk bags where you actually put everything through. Here's two examples of them. So you can get these bags here. So once you've actually got your juice in here, you would pour everything into here. Okay, so you would pour anything into these bags and strain it through. Okay, so that's, that's what you have to do. I think that's what the hardest part is for everybody. Here's another one that's cleaner that um, doesn't have the drawstrings. So once you pour everything into the bag, just have a Tupperware or anything stainless steel on the bottom, and then you're going to squeeze everything um, right through here just get a little bit messy but once you get the hang of it this is what you do so and believe me I have it all over but um, like I said I will put this on a YouTube video for you because because of this slim down everybody's been asking me how they do this I actually like it a little bit thicker um, but if you want just the simple juice you have to use the juicer so these bags you can get them online a lot of the health food stores I'm not sure if Whole Foods has them um, they're called nut bags I think a home uh, bath and body have them any kitchen stores they are hard to find but if you look on them they're actually called nut bags or milk bags so very very good to help you through your juicing process 101 uh, part of Sarah's question uh, PS you're gonna like this one uh, PS um, what does she put here I feel great through my eyes. My energy is great through the day. My insides feel great and clean already on day five. And is it normal? You're going to laugh at this one. And is it normal that I'm going to the bathroom like 10 times a day? What's going on? Yes, Sarah, that's very normal. So the reason why that's normal is because on the slim down, what I'm doing is I'm obviously getting rid of a lot of the water that's in your body. Um, so when I have specific foods there, like the asparagus or whatever's in the juice, the ingredients that I have, um, a lot of it's acting as a diuretic. So yes, you'll be forced to go to the, to the bathroom a lot more. So that is a normal question that I get. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, how do you do it? If you want to take your juice to work or whatever have you. So after I get it through into these bags, I will pour it from there into a mason jar with my little funnel. I'm making wine doesn't it so I take a mason jar I have a funnel either do it in this side and actually I have this small one that I've already done 
because I was one step ahead of game, this glass jar, jar as well, that I did today. So I will funnel it through. And I like to use the mason jars. You can just get them at any dollar store and put them up here. Okay, so this is kind of like the juicing process. They stay fresh. I don't like to put them in any type of um, shaker cups or anything because these maintain the freshness and the nutrients and everything else nice and sealed tight. So you will need this to help you. So I certainly hope that um, all of this helps you guys a little bit more. So uh, next up, let's go back to my questions. Any questions, please? I'm trying to scroll through these. Uh, on the phone, but of course that's very difficult for me to do that. <sighs> Anyways. Okay, so the next question, um, Nancy, I find that I eat healthy through the day, but it gets hard. I get the hard case of the munchies in the afternoon and want to run to the vending machine to grab whatever I can. Can you recommend a quick healthy snack while I'm at work? <laughs> the rest of us. <laughs> because of course, most of us, after that lunchtime, they get that feeling and um, they're craving. So, uh, one of my quick go-tos, and it takes less than five minutes to make, I'll make it either in the morning or the night before, bring it wherever you are, is like a, I call it a chocolate peanut butter pudding snack. Yum, Yay. yum. So, what I do is two ingredients. You can make it three, actually. I have them here on the counter. So, I will take uh, one of my favorite protein powders. I use Dimatize Elite Protein because it's under three grams, woo, under three grams of carbs and fat. So it's low in both. Strongly recommend that. I will take that along with my measuring cups. So I usually use half a cup or one tablespoon. Depends what you're going to use. Scoop it out, put it into a bowl. Another one of my favorite products. So you're going to use any type of chocolate protein powder. It doesn't have to be this specific one. I just ask that it be low in carb, low in sugar, low in fat. Um, and then I use another one. It's like I could take this to bed with me. Okay. So as you know, I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So this is powdered peanut butter. It's like 44, 45 calories, I think. Let me look here. One gram of fat, and it's like 45 calories for two tablespoons. Isn't that the bomb? PB2, man, like you guys hit it right. So, bomb product. Hi, Jeff. I see you there. Okay, so you would take uh, two teaspoons of this as well, or tablespoons or whatever have it you. And then you're gonna add some water, and if you would like, you can add some almond milk and some stevia. And voila, let me tell you what that shows up to be. This ends up being this beautiful mix of chocolate pudding. Yes. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So this is probably one of the healthiest snacks that you can eat. Um, I think this came from Tia. Tia, sorry, I hope that's you. So um, here we go, protein powder, okay? So quarter scoop, I mean measure according to what you think you're gonna eat for the day. I don't know all your diets, but regardless, it's a healthy snack, better than any type of vending machine, chips, or anything else. Pure protein, uh, you've got a little bit of uh, your fix of chocolate, you've got your uh, fix of peanut butter, as I'm about to do that now because I just can't resist. Mmm, orgasmic. Yeah, so that's gonna curb my cravings, definitely. So um, I hope that helps. And um, I'm gonna do another quick question. Holler, what do we got here? Let's see. Oh, I hope I don't turn this off. I'm trying to go through all the comments. <laughs> Such a loser sometimes, aren't I? <laughs> um, okay, I'm always feeling tired. Can you recommend some supplements to help? Well. That's a loaded question because I don't know what your food intake is. I don't know um, what type of activity you're doing, but supplementation does help. It assists in, um, in increasing your energy level. Like a lot of people will get very misunderstood. Vitamins are there not to give you energy. Vitamins help to release energy from food. So that's why a lot of times um, you'll hear people say, I have to take my vitamins 
or it, it's not to give you energy. They actually help release the energy and the nutrients from the food. Therefore, a lot of vitamins they say to take with food and it's for that reason. Food for thought next time tell, someone tells you they forgot to take their vitamins. So having said that, um, some of my favorites, um, vitamin D, I would say, um, vitamin D for me, I, uh, I really like life extension and I take vitamin D every morning. I, if I don't take this and a coffee, I am done. Totally done. Anyways, um, I take 5,000 I use and I know that's a lot for most, but like I said, it varies. I would recommend taking between 1,000 and 5,000 I use of vitamin D. Can you see that there? Covering me up. It's probably better. Um, I also take um, my B vitamin, so B stress, uh, stress vitamin, a B100, and there's a B12. I don't even know if I put it up here. Okay, I don't have it on my counter. Um, I take a B100, a B50, and I take a, a B12. Um, some people have asked me about B12 shots, and those are just as fine. Um, like I said, it, it's a full equation and it's really hard for me to determine what your daily routine is, but these are simply items that can help you definitely for sure. So any of that, other than that, um, hey Kevin, what's up? I see you. Um, Nick, you're back in the house. Um, and Ellen, Elena, oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot of you are just joining. So to recap, um, Yes, the seven day slim down is only on, I think for maybe another week. We went through, I'm asking, I got another question here about the bag. Okay, so when you were actually doing your juicing, okay, so I've got the Vitamix right here. Again, you can do a juicer, my juicer is up there. I actually like it more like a smoothie. So you're going to use, uh, the question was, how do they filter through all the foam? And um, just to recap, you gotta use these nut bags right here. I got two versions. You're gonna put them into a bowl and you're gonna squeeze it through. So once they strain through, you're gonna force all the um, excess to the bottom. And see what I mean? Then I get a phone call in the middle of my video. This is only my chance. I love it. Anyways, okay. And then you're going to actually funnel it through into a mason jar. And this allows you to keep it overnight. I try and do it as fresh as possible, but they actually go are they a lot better if um, you can do this the day out, but I know we don't always have time for that and I funnel through and then it ends up and I can even do it in one of these as well. All right, and the question about the peeing, yeah, someone asked me, they were urinating too much. Good, that's a good sign. You're supposed to be urinating, getting rid of all that extra sodium and um, extra water and everything else. And yes, someone did ask me about um, some of the products, and I have recommended some of those supplements, but obviously you've got to download the uh, Slim Down to find out more about that and the success to your event or wedding. Um, Elena, you're getting married, so I know why you want it. Um, so you can do that at nancydenino.com forward slash Slim Down, and we're on the countdown till I uh, take that down, so make sure you guys... Uh, Stay with that. Okay, Sean, hey, what's up? Kevin, again, tell me how your week is. Um, I just been uh, amalgamating all the questions. It was a hard week for me. I know uh, we all have our tough days, but just know that um, it's okay. You are allowed to have those down days and stop judging yourself because it's all negative self-talk and I know there's mornings when I get up and I used to be really bad. I would start with the negative self-talk and it just set the tone of my whole day. Um, but at the end of the day, as I always say, um, a lot of stuff that we worry about is first world problems. They're not third world problems. And if you actually imagined your life without some of the necessities that we have, like our actual, just our health and waking up in a warm bed and waking up to food um, in our fridge, Oh my gosh, like, remember, <laughs> there's only one you, and if you talk to yourself, if you talk to yourself like, and allowed other people to talk to yourself like you do, how would you react? And that's how I think. I don't let anybody else talk to me like this. So why am I letting myself, my own self, talk to me like this? And that's how you have to think about it. You are special, and yeah, 
we're gonna make mistakes, but guess what? You start over again. And um, it took a lot for me to do that. I am my own worst critic. We usually are. Hola, como estas? I got a nice following there. Estoy bien. Um, so really just, you know, just have to chill out, everyone. Just chill out. So anyways, thank you. I love you guys. And thank you for um, supporting me always because I need your support just as much as you need mine. Anyways, again, my slim down is on the countdown, nancydenino.com forward slash slim down. It's the final week. Um, and I hope that this helped you like my pages. And uh, I can't wait to see you during the week. I'll hit you up midweek and check you up and hold you all accountable.